Hello, welcome to part two of um, completing the hotel data worksheet. So in a previous video, we have already calculated room nights, booking pays, length of stay, room rate, total amount, and the discount. So the next thing we're going to do is calculate how much is the net amount to be paid for the booking after applying the discount. So I'm going to calculate it for the first booking which is on row 5. So I click here on O5. This is column O, row 5. And I'm going to enter the formula. So I type equal. So we take the total amount for the booking minus any discount. So M5 minus N5. And when I press enter, I get uh, this strange looking string that says pound sign N8. So there seems to be an error. And it says the value cannot be computed, it's not available. The reason is we are taking a number and we are subtracting um, an unknown value from it. So, uh, and the reason this is unknown is because there was no discount for this booking because the promotion code is blank. So we have to take care of this uh, not available error here because as long as we have this not available error, we cannot do the subtraction over here. So let's go back to this formula. The so instead of displaying NA, we should try to catch if there's an error. If VLOOKUP returns an error, our discount will just be a zero because it means the promotion code is either black or it wasn't found. So how can we do that? There is a function called if error, and I'm just going to type it here, if, okay, and you'll see it's if error here, I'll double click, if error, and this function if error takes a value. And if this value is error, that means if it starts with a hashtag like this, is an error, then we will use another value. We will return another value if this uh, formula or function returns an error. So the first argument is the value, so it's the VLOOKUP. And if this VLOOKUP returns an error, the second argument is the value that we're going to use instead of the value returned by VLOOKUP. And that way, we can return a zero. So again, the if error takes two arguments. The value that we're going to check. And if this value is an error, we return the second argument. If this value is not an error, then we simply return what the VLOOKUP returned. So now when I press Enter, you'll see that it appears as a dash. And the dash is simply a zero. Um, that's because I formatted it as a counting up here. If I go back to a number, you'll see it's just a zero. Okay? But uh, it's uh, nice to show dashes instead of zero. So that's why we have a counting here. So I'm going to go to more number format. So the original, uh, the original format was a counting, and we do not want to show a symbol. Right. Okay, so that's why we're showing a dash. It's just a format. So now that we know the value here is a zero because it's NA, so now I can subtract. Um, next, we're going to calculate the arrival day. So for the arrival day, we want to know which day of the week this booking is going to the guest made this booking will arrive and check in and the arrival date is in um, F5 so we need to know if uh, October 20 is a Sunday Monday Tuesday and so on so we're going to use a function called text okay so I type equal and then text what text will do is it will take two arguments okay it will take two arguments you'll see here the first argument is the value and then the second argument is the format or the instructions on how we want to display the value. So our value is the arrival date. So that's our first argument. But we want to display the arrival date as the day of the week. So to display it as the day of the week, the format is, okay, and you put the format in double quotes, D, 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 all right? So four Ds, okay, now press Enter and you'll see that it's a Sunday. So it simply takes whatever value you pass to it, which in this case is arrival date, and it applies a format. 
And the formats, uh, it takes time to learn what the formats are, and there's quite a number of formats. But if you want to have an idea what formats are possible, you can go to uh, this drop down list under number. You can go to more number formats, and over here you can see there's custom. You'll see there's all kinds of formats here. Okay, and there's format for D, that's D, there's M, and there's YY. So formats are just like rules that, that you describe how you want the, the values to be displayed. Now, one interesting thing here is if you just put three Ds, because D stands for D. If you just put three Ds, it's going to show the arrival, but in three letters. Okay, but I think we want to see the whole uh, weekday name. So I put four Ds, and that will show Sunday. And we do the same thing for the departure day. So the weekday for the departure day is simply apply the text uh, function to the departure day. And the format code is also in double quotes, D, 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 D. All right, so we know that this uh, guest arrived on Sunday and checks out on Thursday. So now we take these three formulas because we just updated them. And then we're going to drag it down to the rest of the rows. So now we have copied all our formulas. However, let's uh, take a look at the amount after discount. There are cases where the amount after discount is incorrect, like in this case. So in this case, our formula would simply take the total amount minus the discount. But really one is to take 8% off of this amount. So we don't multiply in this, we, so in this case, we do not subtract. We should not be subtracting, but the formula should really be the total amount, M18 minus M18 multiplied by this uh, discount rate. The answer should really be 4,349 and 76. Or another way to write this formula would be to simply um, multiply M18. This might be um, easier to understand. M18 times 1 minus the discount. Okay, so in this case, um, this is we only take 92% of the price because 8% is off. It gives us the same answer. All right, so there's two ways to write this formula. So what do we do now? Because there are two possible formulas for the amount after discount. In some cases, we simply subtract the amount, and it, but in some cases, we, need, we take a percentage off of the price. So since we have two possible formulas for this column, we need another function, a new function, and this function is called if. So if is an Excel function that takes some logical tests Okay, so you test for a condition. If this condition is true, you return the answer of this um, second argument. And if it's false, you return this value. Okay, so if takes three arguments, you perform a logical test which returns true or false. If the logical test is true, you return this value. If the logical test is false, you return this value. So in our case, we either return the subtraction or we return the um, percentage off. But what is our logical test? Our logical test is we look at the discount. If the discount is greater than or equal to 1, then we assume that we want to subtract. Okay, so I'll take if n5 greater than or equal to 1, because uh, 1 is 100%, and there's no 100% discount because we're not giving away our rooms for free. So if it's one or above, we assume that the discount is simply an amount that we subtract from the room rate. So if this is true, then our answer will simply be total amount minus a discount. But if it is less than one, which means it's either a um, 
decimal value like 0 0.12, 0 0.08, or even if it was a zero, that means there's no discount. We can simply do M5, the total amount, M5, the total um, booking, times one, which is 100%, minus the discount rate. Okay, so we have two possible answers. And this is our logical test. Okay, if this is true, then we simply subtract the uh, discount amount from the total amount. If this is false, then we take a percentage of, of the total amount. And let me press enter. Okay, so for this, um, for this particular booking, N5 is zero. So this was returned. Okay, this was returned to us. And um, since N5 is 0, 1 minus 0 is 1, so we simply return M5. Okay? Now let us copy this to the other rows. Okay. So now you'll see that, uh, let's check if all the conditions are true. So in this case, we have zero discount amount, and you'll see that it's still the same, 6,880. In this case, we have 8% off, and now you'll see that um, the total booking was 6,750, and 6,210 is 92% of this amount. And for 12%, this is 88% of this amount. Okay, and this amount is 6720 minus 299. So we have confirmed that now our formula for the amount after discount is correct. And now we are done with hotel data. We have got all the answers. Now, the next part is you need to add five bookings of your own. And of course, you would add it down here. And uh, so you'll add five bookings over here. And the reason why you need to add five bookings of your own is uh, we want to make sure everyone's um, activity file is different. So everybody must do their own work. So you add five more bookings here. After you add five bookings, then we're going to do some analysis. So I'll show you a, a quick way to format this uh, worksheet. Now, the format here is actually a list. Okay, a list means the first row are actually the names of the headings. And then every row after that is like a record. Okay, so these are the headings, right? And then it's followed by bookings. So a quick way to format this is to click on any cell within this uh, list. Okay, click on any cell that has data here, for example. And then you go to home, and there's something here called format as a table. And uh, so since our format follows uh, this arrangement, right? The first row are headings followed by records. Then we can pick any one of these. So I think I'm just gonna go with uh, this color. So I click this one. Okay, and it's asking me, where's the data for your table? And it automatically detects where my table is. So A4 is my upper left-hand corner. And Q95, go all the way down there to confirm. Q95 over here. Q95 is my lower right hand corner. And the first row has headers. Okay, so my table has headers is this one. So then I click OK. And you will see that it quickly applied that format to my table. Okay, we call this an Excel table. And you can do this if your data is organized in this uh, with this structure. Now, what are the arrows here? These are actually filters, so you can actually query your data. So let's say I just want to see all Americans. I can just click Americans, and it will filter my data, right? And if I want to see get them all back again, I can select all, and all my data will come back. So let's turn them off. I go to Home. I go to Data, and there's. Applying the format uh, to this table automatically added the, the filter, the filters 
turn on the filtering. So I'm going to switch it off so the filtering is gone. And one of the benefits of formatting your list as a table, like what we did here, one of the benefits is now when I enter my data here. So I'm going to start with a new booking number. Okay, and uh, let's, um, okay, I put the nationality. And let's uh, assign this uh, nationality to a room type. So maybe I'll put him in an executive. Now, when you type your room type, it must be one of the valid room types. So, okay, Excel tries to autocorrect. Okay, and then number of rooms. Uh, let's just give this one room. And then booking date. Now, for the booking date, it has to be before um, October 18 or 17, right? So, uh, we'll just say that the booking date is um, sometime in in June, all right? So, let's say 21 June 2019. Okay, arrival is... Nineteen October and departure is okay and uh, for the promotion code let's give this booking a promotion let's give it an Amex 12 off okay now you see what happens here all of our formulas have been automatically filled in. Okay, we didn't have to we didn't have to pull the formula down to this row. That's because we converted it as a table. So when you format a table, another benefit is when you add a new row to the end of the table, any formulas from the list will also be copied over. Okay, so that's a cool feature, and that will save you um, a bit of time. And you can enter four more rows down here. And um, after you enter your four, um, four uh, your five new bookings, we will proceed to the next part of our exercise, which is to create the room type analysis.